Welcome back to Bay Sunday, everyone. Our next guest was just named the CEO of the Unity Council in Oakland's Fruitvale neighborhood. It is a nonprofit. It's been around for nearly 50 years since 1964, bringing Latinos together in both the working and the social world. Pleased to welcome Chris Inglesias. Welcome. Thank, thank you. Well, welcome. Thank you. Well, uh, Congratulations, we talked off camera, but uh, you must be excited. I know you don't start work for, what, till after the holidays? Yeah, start first part of January. First part of January, yeah. but you must be thrilled to uh, take over. Very excited, I'm very excited. I'm very excited to work with the board. They have a great board over there, a great staff, um, and they do great work. So I think uh, Gilda Gonzalez, the outgoing CEO, has, um, in my opinion, done some remarkable work over the past eight years. And she's really um, teed this teed this up this organization up for me. So, so. Um, it's not like I'm going in to fix anything. I'm right. just really going in to, to, to keep the mission just going. Keep it going, baby. Absolutely. Well, okay. tell us, you know, what is it about? We we gave a, a little thumbnail off the top, but what actually does Unity Council do? Well, they've been in the Fruitvale um, community for about 48 years now. Their uh, 48th anniversary is coming up next Wednesday night over at the Port of Oakland. Just in case you folks want to <laughs> want to attend. Swing on by. Actually, absolutely. It's, it's great. It's going to be a great event, and. Um, they primarily focus on, on three areas, economic development, neighborhood development, and social development. And so it really gives folks their diff different pathways to, you know, to improve their lives, you know, grow into the, into the middle class, which has been, a, I think, a constant theme throughout this election that ended uh, a couple days ago. Um, and so, and they've, you know, mo most nonprofits will maybe specialize in economic development or, or um, Neighborhood development, like housing and stuff like that. You take it a step further. Yeah, though. we take they take it a step it, further. They do. Yeah. It, it's a big it's a big platform. It's a big foundation, and they have you know probably over a dozen different programs um, that support each of these. So you go into fa you actually tell families how you can save. You help people get employed. How do you do it? Do uh, do people go into their homes? Do they go to classrooms? How does it work? I think they do in a, in a combination of, of different things. They have. Um, you know, they have different, the, in the, within the different sectors, they have, um, you know, classes, uh, they have one-stop centers for, for, for employment and, you know, and, and uh, job opportunities. They have a whole home ownership um, um, section that works with, um, you know, potential homeowners in, in, in the area. And then they have the whole social com component um, uh, with Head Start, early Head Start programs. So it's really, you know, the whole spectrum. Basically, uh, you know, Gilda, you know, Gonzalez, the outgoing CEO, basically described as, you know, we basically take folks from cradle to grave and beyond right. because they had the Dia de los Muertos in... in uh, and hope that the, they sustain it absolutely. and then lend it to the next generation. Absolutely. That's the whole idea, yes. right? Yes. Right. Well, how about a success story? I know you're, you're new, but have you, you must have met some of the people that probably went through the program that are working now. I have, I, and I have, I, I probably don't have an, an exact... Exact you know, name, person, sure. But, but I, I would say that... Um, you know, in, in my opinion, um, you know, Gilda Gonzalez is obviously uh, uh, a success story. And, you know, she is um, a, a very talented executive and, you know, she's going to take some time off. Um, but she has really put this organization in a very strong position for me going in. So I'm, I'm very excited about now, that. Now, it pri it's primarily in the Fruitvale neighborhood, yeah. right? And how does, if a family wants to be a part of it, how do they, how do they become a part? That's a good question. One, I mean, obviously they could go to the website to get information about when different um, classes, when, when different services are provided. We're, it's very neighborhood based. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we're, we're located at 1900 uh, Fruitvale. And we also have satellite office and actually at the, at the uh, Fruitvale Transit station um, right there at the Fruitvale BART station, that big development. So you right don't there. have to qualify. If, you, if you're interested, you just get in touch. Absolutely. That's, that's Absolutely. the bottom line. Absolutely. All right. Well, we wish you uh, all the best. Buenos Thank suerte. You. Okay. Thank yeah. you, Frank. Get a big Thank year you. ahead. Thank you, Thanks Frank. so much for coming in, Chris. For more information, log on to unitycouncil.org. That's it for this week. Uh, Bay Sunday. Much more coming up next week. In the meantime, take care, everybody.